In this video, we are going to learn how to redirect the output of a command or a process into a file or how to redirect the output of a command into another command. So the first concept that we are going to talk about is redirection wherein rather than getting the output or an error on the screen, we might want to save that into a file. So by default, whatever command you run, if it gives you a valid output, even if it gives you an error, it is always displayed on your screen. But if you want to save it into a file, then we can use the concept of redirection. So to redirect the output or the error, the symbol is the greater than symbol. So the entire input and output process is looks something like this. We always get the input from the standard input device, which will be keyboard in most cases. Then the process or the command executes that and it gives us either an output which is redirected to a standard output device or it gives us an error which is also redirected to a standard error device. In most of the cases the standard output device as well as the standard error device is our screen. So we get everything on the screen. But at times if you want to save those into the user created files then we have to use the concept of redirection and we can redirect the output as well as the error into the files rather than the screen or your standard output or standard error device. So as discussed, the symbol is the greater than symbol. If I use this symbol once, whatever data is already in the file where you are doing the redirection, that will be lost. But if you want to append that data into the file or into the existing data, then we can use the double redirection sign. For redirecting the standard error, we need to use two and then the redirection sign or two or combined with double redirection sign for appending the error into the file. Now let us see how this concept works in practical. The send redirection, let us suppose if I use ls command, so by default I am getting the output on the screen. But if I want to save this output, what I can do is ls redirection sign and then redirect into a file, let's suppose find.txt. If I view the contents of find.txt now, so you can see all the output is saved into this file. Let's take another example, cel, same file, find.txt, view the contents again. And you can see the output is redirected into find.txt. But you notice that the earlier data is overwritten. So whenever we redirect, the data will be overwritten. So how to save that or how to append the data into the file? What we can do is we need to use double redirection sign which will append the data. So let's redirect this time the output of date. And if I view the contents again. You can see now the cal output is already there and this output from date is appended. ls append into find.txt. You can see all the data is getting appended. So single is for redirection which will overwrite but double redirection sign means it is going to append the data into the original content of the file. Let us suppose I am looking for an entry like this, QRT, but I know this is not in the system, so I will get an error. If I want to redirect this error into the file, then this is not going to work. The error is still on the screen itself, so for that, we need to use 2 and ampersand sign. Because 2 is a symbol for standard output device. So you can see now there is no error. Where is the error? Find.txt. Since I use the single redirection sign, so it has been, it, is, it has removed the original content. So what we need to do here is if I write like this, this will append the data or the error into the file. Right? So both the errors are there in the file. The next concept is the concept of pipes wherein we redirect the output of 
one process or a command as an input to the other command or another process. The symbol is the straight line and this is how it looks like. So, a process is producing an output, we feed it through a pipe which is nothing but, but a connection between process 1 and process 2. So, the output of process 1 becomes the input for process 2. Right. We will see this with an example how this concept works. So, let us suppose I want to count how many files and subdirectories are these that I am getting on the output. In this case, we can obviously count also, but let us suppose I do like this. I am going to list the contents of etc directory. So, you can see there is lot of content. I want to have a count of how many are these files and subdirectories. So, one approach can be that I redirect the output of etc ls etc into a file. I will use again find.txt. You can see all the output is there. Then I can use wc with minus l option to count the number of lines. There is one line for every entry. So, if I count the number of lines, I know how many entries are there on find.txt. So, 255 entries are there in the slash etc directory. But now I have to use two separate commands. First, save the output of ls into a file and then run the wc minus l command on find.txt. So, what I will do is ls slash etc pipe wc minus l. What this will do is whatever is the output of ls slash etc will be given as an input to wc minus l command. So, we need not to save it anywhere. The output directly is given as an input to the second process which is wc and we get the same result 255. So, this is the use of pipes wherein we can club multiple processes. So, you can club the output of one into the second, second's output into the third also can be done. Okay. Even you can club pipes and redirection. So, let us suppose I want to save this output 255 into a file again find.txt. So, I can redirect the output into find.txt. Nothing here find.txt and there is the output. In the next video, we are going to learn how to change permissions of files and directories.